Alrighty then, so welcome back. So now we are going to make him as a movable puppet. So let's begin. So now what we need to do is create what's called pivot points. So just get on the torso. This little round tool is called your rotate tool. So click on that. And as you can see, it gives you this little marker. Now I've already done this um, explaining on a previous tutorial called pivot points. So feel free to check that one out and have a look. But this is going to be for the purpose of um, using it for a puppet. So have a look at that tutorial first and then we will uh, come back to this one and then um, go back around in circles again because at the start of this tutorial I'll tell you to go back and then you just keep going back and forth which will be funny. Funny. Dead funny. So now we want to... So for the torso, just leave the torso where it was or and then go to head. And what you want to do is this, this green bit, as you would have seen in the tutorial, is you want to put it on the pivot point of the head, which would be about there. And if you just move that, you can see. So you won't have a head move too much like that, but there you go. His head moves and his mouth moves with it because his mouth is connected to his head. Yeah, excellent. So then right arm, so the pivot point would be in the shoulder. Left arm, pivot point in the shoulder. Right leg, so every time you click on it, it goes off where the torso is. And then you just click and drag it to where the, where you want the pivot to go. And then left leg, drag it to the pivot. So then, because it's connected to it. Da 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 Yeah, yeah, check that out. Yeah, that is cool, that, innit? In it. So look, you can move that. And then you can move the left arm from behind. Do, make him swing it all the way around. And that is how you do that, my gangsters. And they stay like that. Now, like I say, if you're creating an animation where you want it to be in different, uh, different scenes, so every other scene it will be different, you would go to library. So that's basically your starter point. So every time... You go in here, like you can see, you've got your mouth that animates, and then you've got his body that animates. So before you start animating it, you want to make sure you save it. So you'd go to up here, library, go to global. Takes a second to load. Um, so as you can see, I've already got two puppets there. So then you would click and you would drag that. Very slowly, I'm using the mouse pad on a laptop here, so click and drag that into that folder. And then it just labels it head, so you could label that norm. And then, so that's in there, but it's not saved yet. Because so what you need to do then is file, save global library. And voila, you now have norm saved within your file so then anytime you want him is you would just once you open a project or you open another scene so we'll just go ahead and start a new scene so go down here so just going over there scene new scene down here scene two so he's not there so what you would do is you go to library you select norm and then you would click and drag him into the screen and there you go it gives you all your elements so it gives you all eight elements of your mouth gives you all the head and all the arm and etc etc so just for now just go back to scene one um i might as well show you this i've got enough time it's only added up to nearly five minutes so now really quick so file import your audio file to norm norm so remember it extended to 100 and odd frames so just go ahead. So you've got your torso closed down. You haven't got it. So if you just click on that bit where it is torso, extend exposure. That will extend every single frame. So rather than you having to go through each individual one, it'll extend every single frame over that bit of audio. So real quick, click on there, element, edit sound. Click on there, lip sync that shiz. 
make sure they're right. My name is Norman. I like penis. Just make sure that lip sync's fine. Yeah, that's good. Okie dokes. Click on exposure sheet. Click on where it says Norm. Modify lip sync mapping. And now make sure you don't click OK on there because you haven't got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X lined up. You've only got it lined up for the mouth. So you need to make sure you click on there. Click on mouth. Click okie dokes. And now it will just give you your lip sync for your mouth. So click back to start. There we go. Hello, my name is Norm and I like penis. Huh? You're feeling it, aren't you? And then all you would do in there is just open that up so if we were to move the right um the left arm so your waves is you would click on your rotate tool so select the part where you want it to start from so we'll have him at, so click on the 30th frame of the arm just move it a touch because that will create your remember when i was saying about the the uh, pivot points in your animation that will create that arrow so we'll just go to about 40 frames. So we'll extend over 10 frames and that will raise his arm. So hello. And then we'll just do it every four. We'll have it wave. So in fact, I'm just going to lift that a little bit higher. So one, two, three, four. Pull it down. One, two, three, four. Pull it back up. One, two, three, four. Pull it back down. And then we'll go for just a shed load uh, and pull it all the way back down. So now when we press play, that's created the um, the movement. So as you can see on the left arm there, it's created these these arrows, which where it, where it where it moves from. So then that just gives you that nice smooth waving animation. And on the torso as well. It's created these little red markers. So say if you had it closed like that, it's just so you know where your markers are for the movement, for the specific movement. And then also you can do it for the head. So remember, the mouth's connected to the head. So wherever the head moves, the mouth will move. So we'll just go click on head on the 30th frame. So what you'll remember is you need to create that arrow first. So just pull it slightly. Don't pull it too much because if you pull it a lot like that, then you'll just get this jerk. I oh, know it's not even done it. But you'd get like a dead quick jerky motion, which you don't, which we want to try and avoid. So just create that a little bit. I'm so rubbish at tutorials. <laughs> Every time I try and demonstrate something, it just messes up on me. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> I want you to love me. <laughs> Nat. Um, so his head comes down a bit when he's talking. And then that can stay like that. And then, and then just from there, we'll just have it go back. Reaching back up. So just create that point. Now, another thing to remember is saying this bit here, we don't want him to move. So if you just right click and go to set constant segment, that will just erase that whole movement. And then you can just re begin on that. So then his head moves when he talks. There we go. Beautiful, wonderful, magical. Now I hope you've all learned something. <laughs> And I think that about sums everything up for now. So also just a quick reminder. So if you wanted him to move, you would move him on a peg. Now remember the, I did a tutorial on pegs. So have a look at that, which is animating a running naked man. And you could just basically pivot these over the frames. So you could pivot them, say, over 10 frames each for movement of the leg. Just going like that, so every 10 frames, just keep pulling his leg back and forth. And you could delete the rest of those frames and then just copy and paste them over and over again, which I'll, which I'll just give you a quick demo. So if you delete them, because you've already created these as a movement, 
you could select all them, hold down control, pull it over, and that will paste, copy and paste your drawing for you. So then you could do exactly the same with that one, attach it to a peg, and make it move across the screen and make it look like he's running. Yeah! So I've tried to cram it in as much as possible, like I would try and cock, <laughs> cock, like I would try and cram my cock in a vagina because it's so big. Um. So that is it. That's all I've got. So again, if you want any more tutorials, let me know. If you need help with anything, let me know, and I will try my best to help. So thanks very much, and I'll check you check the cone later. Peace.